Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. In this triangle, we're solving for x and y, and we are going to use the geometric mean theorem that talks about the leg of the right triangle. In this case, the leg of the right triangle is 3 that we're talking about, and we're trying to solve for x and y. So, the leg of the triangle is the geometric mean between the near part of the hypotenuse, which is x, and the entire hypotenuse, which is x plus 8. Now we're going to have to cross multiply and get x squared plus 8x equals 9. Subtract 9 from each side, which gives us our quadratic equation. x squared plus 8x minus 9 equals 0. Go ahead and try to factor this. Let's see what you got. We're going to have two groups here that are equal to 0. We know that we have to have an x in both places. The 9 is negative, so we need a, a positive and a negative sign. And it turns out that we are going to need a positive 9 right there and a negative 1 right there, which means to solve it, x has to be a negative 9 or has to be a positive 1. We know that in the diagram that x is a distance, and negative 9 would not make sense in this case. So x has to be a positive 1. 1. To solve for y, we're going to have to take a look at what kind of information we have right now. I'm going to redraw my triangles, and the leg of the triangle y is in relation to the 1 and the 8, which of course means a total of 9 for the hypotenuse. So we're going to use the geometric mean leg theorem in relation to the other leg. So y is the geometric mean, this time, between the near part of the hypotenuse, which is the 8 and the entire hypotenuse, which is 9. Cross multiply to get y squared equals 72. And when I get the square root, we can write it like this, square root of 72, which is really the square root of 9 times 8, simplifying the radical to be 3 radical 8. If I want it in decimal form, that would be about 8.5. Y equals 8. Y equals 8. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.